Iran executes two men on sodomy charges. On uh, January 30th, Iran executed two men, uh, Mehrdad Karimpur and Fari Mohammadi, after finding them guilty of charges related to homosexuality. The two were charged with, quote unquote, sodomy by force, a term used by the Islamic Republic to describe homosexual uh, R.A.P.E. I have to spell it because of YouTube. Some argue that the two were wrongfully convicted. On January 2021, two other men were executed for homosexuality related charges, also from a uh, Mahrede prison. According to the human rights activist news agency, Iran has executed at least 12 prisoners on alleged sodomy by force charges in 2020. At least, at least 16 were executed for similar charges in 2019 and uh, 23 in 2018. Under Iran's harsh laws, crimes such as sodomy, RAPE, adultery, armed robbery, and murder are punishable by death. Javid uh, Rahman, the UN's independent investigator on human rights in Iran, report, reported in October 2021 that Iran has been implementing death penalties at an alarming rate. I don't even know what to add to this. This is just so horrible. Like when we have new, other news, when we complain about like issues and then all of a sudden we get something like, like we talk about discrimination against gays, you know, in schools. And then we're talking about, I don't know, secularism being challenged maybe in the United States. And all of a sudden we get to something like this in Iran. And then it's just like a whole other level. Like this is like the fact that this is still happening. It's unbelievable. By the way, <clears throat> I think the of the recorded numbers of how many uh, gays have been executed in Iran um, since the Islamic Revolution uh, around 40 years ago, 43, I think now, um, is more than 3,000. But that's only the numbers that has been managed to be recorded. The actual numbers are <clears throat> probably higher. But like it's still going. Like this is not something like you. Assume, a lot of people assume that that was like early, early years in the revolution. Like I don't know, like the nineteen eighties. But then, but no. Like these people are just like still just going out and executing people for victimless crimes. Apparently, still going on. You would think. Well, like, yeah. What I find interesting is that their charge was sodomy by force meaning that this was act but the charge is that it wasn't consensual but mm. in your i don't know how much you're familiar with this but is this accusation that it was involuntary that it was not consensual used against people who actually were engaged in yeah. something consensual so yeah we, okay so we don't know okay here's the thing even if this was non-consensual execution is like should be off the table and by the way just another reminder that and iran has executed a lot of people a lot of gay couples with like charges that has nothing so for example so two things right iran is per capita i mean total number wise i think iran is the only number two when it comes to executions only after china which is unbelievable because the population of iran is like ranked it's not like China Frank ranks number one, Iran ranks like 17 or 18 or something like that, right? So the fact that Iran is number two in total executions, it's unbelievable, right? So I think on a per capita basis, Iran is like number one in executions, right? In, in the whole world, right? So, but also the, I don't, like you can never trust the accusations here because like a lot of people like in Iran, for example, get, executed for being spies or waging war against god over like minor things sometimes over just like being anti-government or saying something that they shouldn't have right so they could just put anything in the paper and i think for making this more internationally acceptable they could always execute people like they could always like like what was the official thing that they said when it comes to the consent part well, the charge, they were charged with sodomy by force. Sodomy by force. What does that, are they actually, okay. It's, yeah, it's a way they, of saying homosexual R.A.P.E. R.A.P.E. Yes. 
so here's the thing the the penalty for it even if it was not by force will still be death so that's how it works but we're against i mean i don't want to if it is true that this was not consensual then obviously i don't want this to be compared to because most gay relationships are not like that right so i don't want this to be if we're if we're saying that they shouldn't have been executed we're not like putting them in the same as group as all other gay relationships like that's not what i'm trying to do here it's just that we're against executions period um this was suggested to you by music guy i think it, it was yeah yeah um yeah so Music guy saying it's common that they throw RAPE accusations to make it justify to the citizens. Well, it's not just about these accusations they, that they throw in. It's like with all, we have seen them adding stuff to the charges for all forms of the executions. It's not just like when it comes to, it's not just the sodomy accusations that they might be adding to it. Like, I don't know much about like this is not the area that we have we have been involved in covering the leaked information out of iran the area that we have been we have i have had more experience in like talking about and covering when it comes to news coming out of iran is the political side of it and we know based on that that they do add a whole bunch of accusations to a charge to justify an execution like that we know that they do okay but that by itself doesn't prove that they have done so here, okay? This could legit have been a non-consensual um, case, right? But, but, we, but we don't know because we can't trust the Islamic Republic of Iran. And they do have a record of adding to the accusation, baseless accusation, adding baseless accusation to something that already has happened. Like, you, you know, in, in situations where something is punishable by death, but people, but they know that internationally it will not look good if they go carry out with the execution. There has been cases where the executions haven't gone through, right? So if they really want an execution to go through, they would have to add stuff that didn't happen, right? Like, yeah, I don't want to give examples. Wait, hold on. Um, like Navid. Afkari. Afkari, yes. Navid Afkari, right? Like he 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 was part of the Alban protest, right? But they added a murder to his accusations, even though it was clear based on the evidence that that didn't happen, right? So like, and they had no evidence for the murder accusation. So we do know that they just like randomly add stuff to them to their case just to be able to kill somebody. But yeah, do you want to read anything else? Oh, no, I wanted to make a quick correction. When I was saying that, um, according to the Human Rights News Agency, like they've um, executed like so many so prisoners on um, sodomy by force charges in 2020 and then years prior, like 2019, 20, I, it, I um, made a mistake. It was actually just on alleged RAPE charges, not specifically sodomy by force. Um, Gossam is... Is what I say accurate? Like I want Glasson to confirm what I'm saying as well. Um, do you want to highlight some of the starred comments? Um, let's see what we got here. Um, Kiki is saying, if Iran must execute people for sodomy, why not start with the clerics? I'm sure. Oh no! Wait, no! Don't read oh, that one. No. Put, no why no, did you highlight that? I don't know because I didn't think Kiki would say something like that, and we were tagged. Kiki, what are you doing? Can, can you please not promote violence here? Where, where like yeah like please don't i don't know like i don't know why i highlighted that that's good because that since youtube we don't endorse any form of violence against any group of people okay so, jesus christ sorry i shouldn't i didn't know kiki was saying something like that sorry i shouldn't have started that's okay um redress is okay. saying um i think saudi saudi arabia is ahead per capita in terms of executions i, I think don't saudi think so. arabia is ahead in per capita, Iran is ahead in absolute numbers. No, I don't think so. Am I wrong about this? I think Iran is ahead of every country per capita, executions per capita. I think Iran is way ahead of Saudi. Oh my God, I can't spell. 
X X. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Iran is. Yeah, I have to look this up, but I'm pretty sure Iran is a head per capita. Execution per capita by country. Wait, am I wrong about this? Um, one, well, sorry. Do you want to read some other things while I read when I while I check this out? Well, which country has a higher population? Well, no, we're we're talking per capita, so that wouldn't matter. Well, well no, Iran, I'm also just curious. Well, Iran obviously Iran has a lot more bigger population. So total number wise, we agree. Wow, you're right. Maybe Iran is ahead. Jesus, I didn't know that. No, I'm sorry. Saudi Arabia seems to be ahead. Well, this is based on 27 numbers. Data. What do you mean 27, 27 numbers? 2007, sorry. Oh, 2007? Yeah, no, we've had much more updated information since then. I remember in 2020, Amnesty International released um, good new statistics about this kind of thing. And from that, I remember Iran being number one. Yeah. Public here. Um... Yeah, I'm I, okay. So I have conflicting information. I'm seeing Iran in some and then Saudi Arabia as ahead in some others. Countries number Iran is twenty. Okay, no, it's Iran. Nope, it's Iran. Twenty countries with the most confirmed executions. Okay, I have two thousand nineteen numbers and it's Iran. Wow. Yeah, Holy cow. Iran takes. Yeah, so that's okay. I'm getting con contradictory information based on different sources, but I think it's zero. You know, I don't believe the numbers that come out of China, though. I mean, even if you don't believe them, based on their own, based on the records that we have, they're number one in total numbers. So if you just add to that, mm -hmm. yeah. But since I, I knew we were at the top, yay, we're number. No, 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 no. She just um okay. no bueno no sorry all right so i'm not i'm not so sure anymore i have to look into this but i think we had amnesty international reports that showed iran was number one like recently like just that two years ago that we had numbers that showed iran was number one per capita anyway that's what any i other remember yeah that's what i remember as well. it could be mr Remory. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.